Okay, hey, you guys are so quiet. I didn't hear you there. <laughs> Jose, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you, teacher? Excellent. Great. A good day. Everything is good. You know? It's yeah, thank God. Everything is good. <laughs> We are already in December, which is wonderful. Yeah, the second day of December. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> right? Finally. I feel, <laughs> I feel that this has taken so long to get to. <laughs> this year was so fast. <laughs> oh, for me, I felt long this year, long, but hey, we tried. Oh. <laughs> for the quarantine, <laughs> I don't know. What about you, Elizabeth? Uh-huh. You're in, you're in mute, Elizabeth. I see I see your your mouth is moving but <laughs> I'm sorry. I I always forget to to change that thing. Um yeah, it was a difficult year, you know. I even I never stopped working. I I I was working from my home and two or two days I was I was uh, working in my, in my in the office, and and the other days here in my house. So, but I never stop uh, you know, working. You know, that's that's a good that's a good thing. That's that's it's a good thing because I never you know stop um, you know making money. Making money, the income never stops. So, <laughs> that and in to be honest in. in in right now or, or during the pandemic that's that mm -hmm. was very important that was a, a yeah. big problem for for a lot of companies and a lot of people exactly so exactly good to hear that good to hear so you know finally getting to the end of the year that we're talking with jose uh already the second oh little by little we're i know <laughs> i was watching i was watching the news and uh and they, I think there is a, a, a vaccine already. A vaccine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A vaccine. Yeah, in England. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In England, they approve uh, the, the the vaccine. So, but, but I think next um, week is gonna start the the uh, multi multi vaccination. I don't know mm -hmm. how to say. Yeah, vaccination. Yeah. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think massive vaccination. Massive, massive vaccination. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I I think in if I understand correctly, in Spain, it's going to begin on the fifteenth of December. They're going to start the massive vac vaccination in Spain, uh, mm -hmm. the week of the fifteenth, and mm -hmm. um, Canada announced that they will not begin until the next year because they want to give opportunity to the underdeveloped countries that have more problems in the healthcare to get the vaccines first. So they have signed a treaty that they, mm -hmm. that, that they and other countries that have more money and have better healthcare will, be, mm -hmm. uh, will not receive the first doses. They, will the, they, they put their, the, the, what they were going to receive, they give, not give, but they give that, that opportunity the for chance. other uh -huh. countries, to, to the poorer countries to get. I see. Oh, that's yeah. nice thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But you don't see the United States doing that. But but it's it's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's another, you know. <laughs> that's another political topic. But, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. But yeah, you know, it happens. It happens. Uh, Sunday is gonna come here. I don't know when, but you know, at least it's you know it's something. It's something. Yeah. That's what they say. They say that it's supposed to come to El Salvador next year in the in the first month in January. Mm, I don't think so, but yeah, maybe it comes. But they they have in the warehouse, they have in customs, and we have like two months before they distribute because they don't have the needles, they don't have the the gasoline for the cars, for the ambulances, or or you know, there's always some excuse. There's always an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> I I got your point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right 
Jose, what happened, my friend? You look so tired. What What's going on? Me? <laughs> yeah, I feel tired because this week is really hard for me uh, because the, the end of, the, of November and get begin with, uh, with December. <laughs> and I think it's really difficult. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a lot of extra work at your job for finishing the year? Like, um, like a closing or more activities or do you have more, more responsibilities in your job? Yeah. For the, for the first days in the month, I have uh, I have to report a lot of, of, of stuff and, and check uh, my clients' service and 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 check about the the bills of them and and and, and the 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 day of, for for me it's it's no over. <laughs> But I really try to, to, to do it in the best way that I can. Okay. All right. Yeah. Sometimes I imagine that's similar to many of our jobs, right? We don't have a, a specific hour or we, there's always always some activity to finish or a, a, a thing. And that many times they say the job is from nine to five, but mm, it's, <laughs> yeah, exactly. it's not. Yeah, they pay you from nine to five, but you work from like eight to six. <laughs> yeah, and more, exactly. and more, and more. That's right. That's right. Well, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, we only have four people in class today, but hey, you know, hey, there's yeah, only four, so we're gonna try it anyways. Um, today we're gonna be first reviewing the things from yesterday. Um, if you remember yesterday, we were looking at infinitive clauses and phrases. And what I mentioned yesterday was the best way to think about this is give your opinion, state the problem, and then how is going to, what is going to be the solution, right? So um, we're talking about the vaccine, right, Elizabeth? So uh, the best way uh, to distribute or the best way to uh, get the medicine or the best way to vaccinate people and then whatever your opinion is is to and whatever you think that's the idea that's really the purpose of it we use it yesterday uh, to describe problems right we somebody gave us a problem and we told them the solution but it's not only for that it's just for expressing our opinion it's for telling me what do you think or how do you see this, okay? Um, I want, uh, for me, the best way to become, uh, or the best way to have a lot of money is to spend less than what you earn, okay? It, that's it, hmm. whatever statement you want. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Okay, did you have any questions? I don't know if you tried to do some of the exercises on the platform or watch the video, or do you have any questions about anything that's not clear? I haven't time, uh, I, I couldn't see the, 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 the exercise. I, maybe I'm gonna work uh, until weekend. Okay, no During problem. The weekend. Yeah. No problem, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, did you watch the, the, the Netflix series Billions? Yes, yes. I, <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> you know what? It's a bit, <clears throat> I mean, the, the vocabulary is, oh my God. I had sometimes I had to, you know, I had to see the, the subtitle because I don't yeah. understand some, 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 some words. <laughs> yeah, the, the vocabulary is very difficult and it's about this um, financial area, yeah. Yeah, and, I, and when you told me that this is the area you wanted, I said, no, I know the perfect series for you because this is yeah. exactly what you want to develop and, and really is very technical because they, yeah. they really speak like, like you are in the finance and you have exactly. to know, so. Exactly. Okay, yeah. I'm glad, so. I'm glad that you're using it. I'm glad that you're mm -hmm. using it. Mm -hmm. Okay, Thank you. you're welcome. I see Ligia and Patricia are very quiet. What do you think happened to them, Jose? What do you think uh, is wrong with Ligia and Patricia? Ligia. Hi, 
Hi, teacher. I'm. 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 I'm, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> I see that. I see that. I see. But what happened, Lee and Patricia are so quiet. I am here too. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Sorry. I'm tired, teacher. Don't worry. I. I you should I, speak with with them. And Jose and I were gonna just listen and, and just listen, right? And just you and Jose, <laughs> and then Lisa and Patricia, they they tell us. Yeah, I listen. have I have other other job teacher. Oh, I I I either been taking care of my nephew. Is he sick nephew. or or did he have an accident or? Oh, no, or? no, no, because I I in vacation. Mm -hmm. So you are helping to to watch him. Yes. Yes. Mm. Okay. How old is he, Patricia? He is he is difficult care the the child. Yes. How how old is he? How old is your nephew? He is uh, one and eleven months. Yeah, this is the difficult age because they need a lot of attention, a yeah. lot of attention. I don't remember take care of the the child <laughs> because <laughs> my my son he is in, in sixteen years. Ah, yeah, 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 <laughs> mm, yeah. I can understand. That was a long time ago. <laughs> a long, a yeah. long time, a long time. Mm -hmm. And you, Lisa, how's everything? It's okay, but I'm tired <laughs> because I have a, a many tasks to do in my in my work. Okay. okay. Because my my partner, she seem she the the last week, the the son was born. So, oh. <laughs> yes. Wow, three months. Yes, four, four months. Four months. Yes. Oh, be, I remember before it was only three months. Yes, but in the last two years, uh, I, they, I last year is um, increased. Yes, yes. Maternity leave. Very good, Ligia. That's correct. Okay. That's the that's the name. It's maternity leave, and Ligia, it's always leave. It only changes the adjective. So if it's for example, you broke your leg or you have a, a, a problem, this is medical leave. If it's a baby, it's maternity leave. If it's what whatever the situation is, always the description and then the leave. Ah, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So, Jose. Teacher. Yes, Patricia. Don't worry, uh, Jose. Mm -hmm. I, I have a question the este, platform. Mm -hmm. uh, exercise the part 1.2. 1.2. Okay, let's go back and check. Um, <laughs> Are you sure it's 1.2 describing describing problem? Yes. Okay. The, the two sentences is for ex exercise instruction is read the comments from customer in a restaurant. You may break your sentences with a past participle or with nouns. Okay. My question is the two sentences. Mm -hmm. uh, the exercise says, call, we have another weather picture. This one, my answer is, this one is linking. Okay. Leaking. Uh, is only is linking. Leaking. Leaking. Uh, linking. 
No. It's leaking. Leaking. No link. Uh -huh, no, not like the web, the website or uh -huh, the social media. It's leaking. But mm -hmm. do you see my screen, Patricia? Yes, now. Okay. Okay. Right now. Okay. Yes, because these are these are some of the exercises we did in class. Um, which one was the other one, Patricia? What was the other sentence? The six. Six. Okay. Uh, it's only is the magic. I try complete the sentences. Uh, my problem. Okay. Maybe that. Was, yes. 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 Because here is only necessary the answer, not not the complete sentence. Okay, teacher. Thanks. You're only. welcome. Okay. In this, uh, Patricia, in this plat platform, you should you should uh, try different ways to <laughs> to get the right answer because uh, yes. uh, the, the, the platform has that problem sometimes. Uh, and the teacher explained that the other day, so. Yeah. So don't worry. Many times it's, it's not that you are wrong. It's just that the, the platform doesn't allow certain answers. For example, sometimes they only want the, the two words or the, the vocabulary. Other times they want you to put the entire sentence. Other times it's, you know, it, it's weird. So don't worry. Always ask. And then that way we can help. Okay. okay. Thanks, teacher. All right. No problem. Well, in that case, if there are no questions about... Uh, the topic from yesterday, we're going to continue on with today. Um, today, we're going to be looking at a little bit of a reading and making sure that all of us are clear. It's also in the WhatsApp. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it on my screen. Is it, I don't know if it's big enough or if it's too small. You can, I try to make it a little bit bigger. Can you see it? Yes. 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 Okay. Teacher. Can you tell me what uh, lesson is, please? Yes. This is lesson two point twelve, I think, or two point ten, I think, was the the one. Mm -hmm. Two two point two point ten. Let me take three. a look. No, not not three. Three was the 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 next topic. Hang on. This is the. Let me take a look. Uh, reading practice 2.11. 2.11. Mm -hmm. I got it. All right. So in 2.11, that's what we're going to do. We're going to be taking a moment. We're going to read it together and make sure that it's clear. Okay. This is the story uh, or this is the, the article, The Threat to Kiribati. Kiribati. Okay. Look at the picture. What do you think the threat to Kiribati might be? Okay, so first let's look at that picture. What do you see in the picture? Here is, this is the picture we're talking about. What do you think, what do you see in Kiribati? The beach. The beach, okay, yeah. Uh, it is, Islam. An island, island. Island, island. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what could be a threat to... Uh, each, yes. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I was gonna ask. Uh, what's the meaning of threat? Threat. Threat is threat. another is another way to say danger. Another way to say what? Danger. Danger. Correct. Mm -hmm. So, if mm -hmm. if it's a threat, it's somebody. It's a danger to to that or to to the person. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not a, it's not exactly a synonym, but it's the idea. The threat is what is the danger. Okay. Okay. So for this, we're going to take turns reading. I think we are only four, right? Yep, only four. So we're each going to take a part to read. Jose is going to read the first paragraph. Um, Elizabeth, you're going to read the second and third paragraph. These two. Um, Patricia, you're going to read from scientist to earth. And then Ligia, you're going to read the last paragraph. Oh, okay, teacher. Okay. All right, Jose, are you ready to read? Yes. 
Yes, I'm ready. Okay, go ahead. Okay, let me see. Uh, I, I think the earth is the in the WhatsApp, but I can hear and read in in the group. Yeah. Um, the people of Kiribati, I think. <laughs> oh, Kiribati are afraid that one day in the near future, their country will disappear, literally. Several times in the past few years, the Pacific Island nation has been flo floated by sudden high tides. These tides which sweep across the island and destroying houses came when there was an there was neither wine nor rain. The older citizens of Kiru, Kiruvas say this has never happened before. Thank you. You're welcome. Kir, Kiru, Kiruvas consists of the 33 islands scattered across 3,080 60 kilometers, um, 2,400 miles of the Pacific Ocean near the Ecuador. They are uh, particularly uh, threatened by high tides because none of them Iceland of um, Kiribati rise more than two meters, 6.5 um, feet above sea. Uh, level. What is uh, causing this uh, mysterious? What is what is causing these mysterious tides? The answer may be global warming. When fuels like uh, like oil and coal are burned, they release bullet uh, that trap heat in the Earth's atmospheres, rising. Uh, temperature create create more um, hold on create more uh, water by melting glaciers and polar ice caps. Thank you very much. Only in the number, Elizabeth. Um, it's uh -huh. the numbers are three thousand mm -hmm. eight hundred eight hundred sixty. And what did I say? Three thousand eight sixty. Okay. Mm -hmm. But in the other one, you said it correctly. In you said two thousand four hundred. Okay. 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 Huh. <clears throat> Patricia. Okay. Science day. Science days say that if the trends continues, many countries will surf. Suffer. Ba Suffer. Excuse me? Suffer. Suffer. Mm -hmm. Van Glaze days, for example, might lose on fix of its land. However, the coral is, is lian nation of the Pacific. Like the ki, kiri, Kiribati, Kiribati, and the and the Marshall Island, world face and even worse faith, they will be is is well is well wet swallowed is swallowed by the sea. This will be everyone's loss in coral information are home to more species than any other place on here. Earth. Earth. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Patricia. Okay. Thanks. Good. And 
uh, the people of this nation feel frustrated. The ocean on which their economies have always been based is certainly threatening their existence. There are no easy answers. This nation don't have a lot of money, so they can afford expensive solutions like sea walls, and they have no, con no control over pollutants, which are being re released mainly by large industri industrialized countries. All they can do, can do is to hope that these countries will take steps to reduce pollution and therefore global, global warming. Okay. Thank you guys very much. Are there first, let's take a look at the vocabulary in the words. Are there any words that you don't know? Um. Teacher, I don't know what the meaning of in the in the paragraph that I, I, I read. Mm -hmm. Um, flooded. I don't know if I say that in it's the best way. Flooded. 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 Yes, and what's, flooded. What's the meaning of that? Flooded. I'll show everybody. Flooded is right here. This is flooded, and it means to have a lot of water. Like in El Salvador, when it rains and rains, and then in parts of El Salvador, there's too much water in the streets. This is flooded. Thank you. You're welcome. Nation has been floated by sudden high tides. Sudden high tides is a, it's just a one significant, right? Yes, it's from the ocean. So the ocean okay. has the the waves of the ocean. When it's the high, this is the high tides. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which swept? That's the idea is go across completely, swept. swept. So it's like cover, cover all of the island. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what's the meaning of swept? Swept. It, it is the past of sweep. Sweep is in your house when you clean. Before you use water, you need to sweep. So you use the oh. broom to sweep. In the past is swept. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other words? <sighs> oh. Mm -hmm. Patricia, Ligia, what about for you guys? Any other words? Okay. Yes, Ligia, Patricia? The, the part two in mm -hmm. the four sentences, three at Threatened. 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 They it, are. It's like a da danger. I don't know. Yes, they are particularly in danger by high tides. They are particularly threatened by high tides. I got one. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's scattered. Scattered means that they are distributed, but not organized. So this is like in the picture in in the map in the map you see many different items these are scattered they are distributed in many different areas any other words No. Okay, great. Well, 
the important is that we understand this one because from that article is you're going to have to uh, use, you're going to have to answer in 2.10, sorry, 2.11 about uh, information. So that one is just like a knowledge check, but it's important that you understand first the article and the situation. So learning our grammar from yesterday, what would be a solution to their problem? Okay, so what could we do or what could be done to help those countries solve their problems of being flooded? I, one of the, one of the solutions, uh, I don't know, may, may be a, uh, built sea walls <laughs> like like they say there in the okay that could be one of the solutions uh huh they don't Can have you to try to move to other island i don't know sure. try to move on right yeah ah okay so abandon the island yeah, abandon the island the island okay uh, one way to reduce uh, the pollution is to reduce the the use of plastics. Okay, perfect. Uh -huh. Or education, the the visit. Yeah, I don't know. I, I imagine. Uh huh. Go ahead. No, I think the problem is no is the the problem is no what I understand is is not the problem is um is not um making in the in the island is the is the the global warming that is causing this uh, problem. Correct, correct. That's that's what they're saying. Is that the is not because of them or they mm -hmm. they are not uh, um, they haven't been responsible. It is because of global warming that this is happening. Exactly. And it's because of of other countries that are doing these that they are the ones who are suffering. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So who do you think, for example, you, you mentioned the seawall. Who do you think should pay for the seawall? Should it be them or the other countries? No, absolutely the other countries. Other the other the countries. industry, the, the, the un, um, industrialized? Industrialized uh, countries, mostly. Mm -hmm. The problem is that many of them, no, they don't accept the responsibility. Yeah, but it is what it is. So. <laughs> yeah, and they continue, they, they, right? <laughs> yeah. Imagine China. If you say China, hey, pay for that, for the seawall. No, actually, it's part of the development. It's, it's not our problem. No. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. That, that's, that's, that's why we are like we are right now, you know? Yes, people don't take responsibility for their actions. Exactly. It's starting with the minimal details, you know, like, like exactly what uh, Patricia Oligia was saying, you know, when we throw uh, plastic or or garbage in the on the street, or or when we um, uh, I don't know many things that we well, we do wrong. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's the idea of the article is for us to understand, and then you are going to do uh, when you do the two point eleven is use the information from the article to answer the questions and complete the sentences. Okay. All right. Okay. Now we're now we're going to go on to our unit three. And in unit three, we're going to see our new topic, 
the topic is you know a rising and falling intonation okay so the idea is that uh, we have when we speak when we make questions we have a tone that goes up and a tone that goes down there that's called rising and falling intonation so sometimes you have to go higher sometimes you have to go lower we're going to listen to some examples and then I'll explain what exactly is the usage of it, okay? Okay. Hi, making the right intonation will help you sound natural when speaking. We want you to notice the intonation in questions of choice. Listen and practice. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in questions of choice. Would you rather take broadcasting or economics? Would you rather study fashion or hospitality? Would you prefer to play the guitar or the violin? Do you prefer to study in the day or at night? So what are we seeing? The reality is that it's just making a question, but there's a intonation. Would you rather? And those are for at the end of your question, normally you go down the tone. So you start usually with a higher at the beginning or when you have options, right? Would you rather study fashion or hospitality? You know, uh, would you prefer to study in the day? or at night. So this is the idea. It, does it make a difference? No, it doesn't really make a difference. It just sounds natural. So when you use rising and falling intonation, it just helps you sound a little bit better because there is no tilde, right? There is no place where we can say, oh, this goes higher, this goes lower because it doesn't have that in English, but they do have intonation and intonation is for the entire word and which words go higher, okay? So it's kind of like, do you like pizza or hamburgers? That's kind of the idea for rising and falling intonation. This way of intonation is just when you ask and you have two choices. Yeah, there, yes, well, there's intonation always has, there's different ways, but the, the one that's easier or the one that we start off with is with two choices because then it's easy to understand. The first choice you go up and the second choice you go down. Yeah, because if, if you ask in with, one choice, like yes or no question. Uh, the intonation, I think it's, it's different because do you want pizza? Exactly, it's in the want or uh, do you yeah. like, uh -huh. so the intonation is in the verb, not in the choices. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is only for when you have choices. And when, when you have more of two choices? Um, the first ones were gonna go up, if you have two or three, the first two will go up and then the last one will go down. Okay. Can you give us uh, an example? Yeah, would you like Pepsi, Coca-Cola or, uh, or Fanta? So the okay. Pepsi, the Coca-Cola, those go up and then the last option, Fanta. And it's oh. usually because it's like the, the person's opinion. It's kind of, it, 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 it it's not exactly their opinion, but they're telling you, okay, these are the first ones and all, all the last or this other option at the end. Exactly. Thank you, Mr. You're, wel you're welcome. Okay. So that's the idea for, for the intonation. It's, there's not much to do with it. It's just for you. It's just for your knowledge. So that one's actually a pretty easy, a pretty fast one, okay? But we do have the word choice that they use and it says, would you rather or would you prefer, okay? Mm -hmm. And with rather, I would rather, okay? And I would prefer. These are when you make a decision, okay? And for this one, yes, okay. Would you prefer to study at night <clears throat> or in the morning? Um, that's not how you spell morning, but I think that's what they meant the morning so don't worry <laughs> i think they, they made a mistake when they made that one but i think that's what they meant all right let's watch this one and then i'll explain this for prefer or rather nice to have you back in this section you will learn how to use would rather and would prefer both are used for choices 
Stay around, play the audio program, and try to identify the difference between those two. Would rather and would prefer. Would rather takes the base form of the verb. Would prefer usually takes an infinitive. Both are followed by not in the negative. Okay, so right there it's telling you the clue or the information you need to memorize. Would rather is the base form of the verb, so, yeah. and would prefer is with the infinitive. Okay, not always, but most of the time, that's how they are, that's how it works. I would rather go, eat, play, whatever the base form of the verb, but would prefer is I would prefer to eat, I would prefer to go, I would prefer to visit. Okay, that's grammatically, that's an important difference, even if the meaning is the same. Would you rather take a media class or a health class? I'd rather take a media class. I'd rather not take either. I'd rather take another course than study media or health. Would you prefer to study film studies or broadcasting? I'd prefer to study film. I'd prefer not to study either. Let's join a choir. I'd rather not join a choir. I'd rather not. I'd prefer not to join a choir. I'd prefer not to. I will begin with this explanation telling you the would rather and would prefer mean the same thing. As we already told you, but we want to be emphatic, both are used with choices. In case you didn't identify the difference between those two, we will explain it now so you see there's a slight difference in their structure. Would rather plus not plus base form of verb. I'd rather learn English than German. I'd rather not study at night. Would prefer plus not plus infinitive. I'd prefer to learn English. I'd prefer not to study on weekends. Note both are followed by not in the negative form. And just in case you're wondering how to answer in short form, this is how. I'd rather or I'd rather not. And if you're using prefer, this is how to answer properly. I'd prefer to, I'd prefer not to. Ready to make choices? Would you rather take online classes or in-person classes? Would you prefer to study at night or in the morning? Type your answers on our discussion box. With this explanation telling you the would rather to study. Okay, so let's take a moment and, and look at this part, which is the, probably the most important part of the video. Okay. So first, is we should be clear that in meaning it's the same. There are four choices. This is the selection that you have made. Now, just because the person gives you two choices does not mean you have two choices. Would you, like if I say, would you rather have a Coca-Cola or Pepsi? Oh, you can use, I'd rather not have either. That means both of them is not for you. Or I'd rather take, or I'd rather have a, a Fanta than Coca-Cola or Pepsi. Okay, so it's not just that only you can only answer with those these are just that it helps you to describe your preference or what your selection is okay the same thing with prefer if you use prefer you're going to use the infinitive i prefer to drink i prefer to have okay um fanta i prefer to i prefer not to drink uh pepsi it's okay why we use prefer and rather Yeah, basically, rather go with the base form of the verb and prefer go with the infinitive uh, verb. That's correct. That's grammatically that is the structure. The meaning is the same. The same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we ask um, in the same way that would you prefer, would you rather? We use the same structure grammatically, right? That Elizabeth just mentioned. Rather, base form, prefer infinitive. So I won't, I'm not going to say, would you prefer go? I would say, would you prefer to go to the movies or to a restaurant? 
But if I use rather, would you rather go to the movies or to a restaurant? Not necessary, would you rather to go? Say that again, teacher. With the same thing that you mentioned with rather uh -huh. Uh -huh. is the same, the same way that we make the questions. Because in the questions, it would be the same way. Would you rather, and then the verb in base form. Would you rather go to the movies, okay? Or would you, or, or to, a, I don't know, to a restaurant, I think I said. Mm -hmm. Would you rather go? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And then, the, and the other one is the same thing. Would you prefer to go, okay? And to a restaurant or to, uh, uh, to the movies? Okay, yeah. Um, either you asking or your answer is the same structure. Correct, correct. Okay. It's always going to be, you're going to use the same structure for them. Uh, okay, I got it. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try with our partners. We're gonna go to 3.4 and we're going to try to complete the exercises in 3.4. It's with rather or prefer. Remember, rather, base form, prefer, infinitive. Ligia, you okay? You have to join the group. And you? No. You guys okay? Yes, but I can I can hear to to Patricia. Okay. And I can hear Ligia. Can you hear me? Hear me? <laughs> yes, Ligia, I can hear you. Uh, but Patricia, can you hear Ligia? Yes, yes, teacher. Oh, okay. okay, all right, there you go. Hi, Patty. Hi, Ligia. Or, or is, no. What do you prefer? Would you prefer take. to take, to take, Remember the the rule is with prefer go with the infinitive go, uh, verb. Okay. okay. To take, I think we just had to write uh, the verb. Yes. Yes, to take. Good. <laughs> See, I told okay. you. Okay. Um, I prefer. I, I was thinking the, for example. Uh, you can ask uh, in in one way and me in or another way. In okay. The last, uh -huh, I don't know. If um, I, I ate. Come on. Uh, uh, sorry, I, what? <laughs> I ate. <laughs> okay. Uh, would you prefer to take a course in exercise? Science or nutri nutritional science? Uh, sorry, uh, are you in the X in the platform? Uh, yes, I, I read the, the question and answer. Uh, okay. So. Give me a second. But okay. It's 3.3. Would rather take No, 3.4. Ah, okay. Sorry. Uh, learn. Learn. Just learn. Yes. Just learn. Let's yeah. see. Good. Yeah. <laughs> And the next one is, I think I prefer to study in Australia because it's warmer there. 
Good. Is that correct? Okay. Bravo. Nice. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> we we are we are a, a good thing, uh, Jose. Yeah, very good, good couple. <laughs> there you go. Any questions? Everything okay? Mm, no, everything is okay. fine. It's it's a easy topic. It's a easy lesson. It's a easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, and it's good because we don't have too many lessons that are easy. It's usually, you know, very hard or know, complex. So tell me about it. <laughs> like, like, like yesterday or what's uh, what's yes. yesterday or maybe the, the, the one before yesterday. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. But, oh my god! And I, my mind was like, oh my god! What? <laughs> I tried to understand, and but my mind was, you know, crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Okay, good, good. The, in the next lesson, that the the one that is 3.5 is really just a listening lesson. That one is just listening and answering. So it's just about, um, you know, making sure that you understand what you hear. If you hear the topic, uh, whatever it is, the topic that they have. Okay. So okay. Uh, and let me check. Yes, yes, Elizabeth. No, I was going to... Um ask you for uh, help in because one of my 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 uh, problem is uh, to understand uh, phone calls in English mm -hmm. of course um, and because uh, I, I mean I why I can understand uh, almost everything in when I watch in a movie or a series or on, on news but when I, because um, it's happened to me twice that I, I received two phone calls in, uh, in English, but I can get, for example, where they call him from and, or the name of the person. And I don't, I, I don't know why, if I get nervous or I don't know why. Well, you know, it, it, it's hard to say without knowing the phone calls, but usually because the names are not common, um, many times people, we, we are used to names like Jose, Elizabeth, Andrea, Michelle. Yeah. And then, you know, you have these people, they'll, they'll call and they'll say, what's your name? And they'll say, uh, Lakeisha. Uh, they'll say, Dorio. They'll say, uh, you know, th these names that for us, we, you know, it's not common. It's not common to have these, uh, these names, especially depending on what type of uh, person it is because they'll have that's one and the other is um, it's not only about where they're from um, but many times it has to be with how they enunciate how they they speak so many times they don't open their mouth uh, in, in the movies and in tv shows the idea is to make sure that the person watching the movie understands so they're not going to talk like hey how you doing yeah what, what are you? but these people <laughs> maybe they're friends that's how they speak they speak but they don't open their mouth Right, they just keep exactly. their mouth. Mm -hmm. If you ask them to speak uh, slowly, or because is it, it happened to me uh, too, there in the United States when you try to that they try to you when you ask to speak slowly, they 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 act like they don't like basically they don't like and they just say oh don't worry or forget it, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. So it's a uh, it's it's a uh, is it's, uh, it's, it's, it's one thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, this is this is the idea that that many times it's it's, it's mainly one part is cultural, another part is, um, you know, the 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 difference that we don't have a common um, names or relationships. For example, here if I say Cojutepeque, Sonsonate, Huachapan, it's easy. You can identify. You you know these names. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if they if they mm -hmm. talk about over there and they say uh, Panama Walk, uh, Pinoki, Bernanke, you huh? For for what? What what are you yeah. saying? <laughs> and where are you calling from? And you try to get the name of the company and what? And yeah. oh man. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's that's what happens. That's what happens. But don't worry. Oh, yeah. it, it, you know, just keep practicing, and little by little, you'll get it. Hopefully, yeah. Okay. 
All right. Uh, Patricia, do you have any questions? Did you guys finish? Finish, teacher. Okay, excellent. All 100? No, I... we didn't finish. <laughs> <laughs> It's because there you go, there's Ligia. I was going to say, I didn't see your partner, but yes, okay. <laughs> now, were there any, any, any questions or anything? Ligia, for you? No, Mr. Hey, Jose? No? Not for this moment. No? No, no everything is clear. No. All right. So far, so good. The okay. topic is clear. <laughs> Yeah, we were just talking about that, that, you know, it's, it's nice, it's nice sometimes to have a, an easy topic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a reading, a, a little bit of intonation just for answer, and then just, you know, a nice topic. But there's, you know, other days that, hmm, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of difficulty. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, well, in that case, have a great night, and we'll continue again tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Bye. 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 Thank, Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you, guys. Bye. Have a good night. Okay, Bye -bye. good night.